Hello, hello, and welcome back to the second episode of my vlogs. This is uh, the day after my birthday, and uh, me and my mother was on our way back to Kalmar. Uh, she decided to follow me up there to see how I was doing, and uh, I also think that she wants to spend some uh, time with me, since um, later in uh, November I'm going to um, uh, having a praxis on a ship. Uh, as I probably said last episode and uh, by then I will be away for a few months and uh, we decided to go into the city and uh, look at the castle I decided to do some uh, weird filming here just to try it out and then we walked over to my school and then we spotted these weird trees and to our right here where the tower is um, watchtower you can see my school the next day um, I had some uh, lessons as well as some uh, tests that I had to be done. This test in particular was about some uh, health, uh, health and safety stuff. This question right here, uh, you can see a tool which uh, you use when um, a person collapses down in a uh, tank and you have to lift them up without exposing yourself to the dangerous environment. And this question right here is about if you're allowed to perform some hot work on the deck and uh, this will help you to decide where and when and how to do it. On Wednesday I was going to have some interesting lessons down at school. Uh, while I made my way down um, I had some wind against me which made me a bit slow and quite exhausted when I finally arrived. Uh, it took about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to make my way down uh, to the um, ship that I was going to have a lesson. And here we can see the um, university's uh, own ship, or a smaller kind of ship, I don't remember the name in uh, English, it's called Faltig, at least in Swedish. That is a boat which has its maximum length of uh, 24 meters if I'm correct. The point of this lesson uh, was to inspect the ship's uh, safety equipment as well as uh, its uh, firefighting capabilities as we could uh, inspect on the safety map that we saw uh, placed all over the ship. I made my way down to the um, control room. Uh, here we can see some uh, weird buttons and uh, panels that you can um, read uh, how the ship is doing. Here I have uh, entered the machine room with the different motors and stuff. I don't really feel comfortable uh, describing everything in here. But as you saw there, I almost uh, fell in while I tripped walking down. Uh, just inspecting some uh, firefighting capability as well as uh, fire alarm. Other than that, I don't really know much uh, about the machinery. Anyways, we continue with the inspection to the upper floor of the machine room as well uh, as going back around and down some uh, different escape paths and um, I ended up here uh, beside motor that drives uh, this ship forward. In closer inspection you, you can see the thermometer which uh, keeps an eye on the temperature so it doesn't overheat and uh, create a hazardous uh, risk of uh, igniting and exploding. Here we are on the bridge, kinda old wheel but either way it's really nice looking out on, at the view that we have. And later on in our um, education we will be given the chance to do some fire exercises on the ship as well as drive this safety boat, which is quite awesome. And when the inspection was over we made our way down to the land and uh, into a lesson uh, where we went through our answers. And when that was done we um, we made our way over to the um, firefighting department in uh, Kalmar, where we had some other theory lessons about um, how to extinguish a fire on a boat and some different safety precautions we could take to hinder this happening. Either way, it was really cool. We also had some different uh, exercises. We got to look on uh, some gas masks and how to assemble them and disassemble them and uh, how to equip them and, and correctly as well. They also briefed us on the final task for um, firefighting education was that going into this um, building behind us while it is burning and extract a hidden doll from it in a certain time. After that, later in the week, we went through more safety training and um, theory. 
about uh, different equipment that we can expect to see on the ships. Later on Friday, my grandfather came over and uh, greeted me. Uh, he drove over um, 300 kilometers, if I'm right, to get to me. And um, he did it to help me assemble this uh, TV mount, which holds the TV on the wall. And uh, that was really nice. Here you can see it finished. And I'm looking at some uh, ship videos uh, which are going across the seas. Anyways, that was really nice of him, and we had a great weekend together. We went out and we got some food in this really nice restaurant. It was quite nice and fun to have him over. I really enjoyed it. After eating lunch we went over to some colony area, where um, people can buy uh, smaller houses with a plot of land with it. And, uh, yeah, I think this is the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed this second vlog, and have a wonderful day, and uh, see you next vlog. Bye!